Before we get this started, I'm gonna go over today's timeline. See if you guys can keep up. Six o'clock, cocktail hour on the terrace. Six thirty, bride and groom arrive. Six forty-five, move everybody into the ballroom. Seven o'clock, plate and dinner. Seven twenty-five, toast. That's enough time. Six thirty, kids go to the frog bog, whatever the frog bog is. Eight thirty, cake cutting. That's way after dinner, guys. This is I don't. Uh, they are moving the cake downstairs. That's where the cake is gonna be plated at eight forty-five. Everybody is headed downstairs to do a penguin encounter outside of the shark tunnel. At 9.30, they are planning on doing their first dance inside the Shark Ray Auditorium. We're gonna go through everything else and then we're doing a sparkler send off back out on the terrace at 11 p.m. And there's so much stuff in between that I didn't even talk about in this timeline. Guys, here we go. This is the big one we've been waiting on. This is the wedding I've been excited about all year. Headed back down to the Newport Aquarium. Let's get to it. <laughs> Mitch with Date Mobile DJ. I'm back again with you guys today with another gig log. This is the big one that we've been looking forward to, guys. We are headed down to Newport, Kentucky, to the Newport Aquarium. So much stuff going on. I'm gonna go through everything, get you guys caught up about everything that's going on, and you guys saw the timeline. It's confusing as hell, but we're gonna figure it all out as we go. So here, check it out. So excited about this, guys. This is gonna be really exciting. So we're heading down there. They're gonna have about 280 people at this wedding. We are doing cocktail hour on the terrace. We are doing dinner in the ballroom, and we're doing the dancing portion of the reception downstairs in the Shark Ray Auditorium, which just sounds freaking awesome. We've been to the aquarium one other time. I actually went there by myself. I just had a small setup. We actually got the photo kiosk up in a shark tunnel. That was pretty cool. Uh, but at this wedding, we did Shark Ray Auditorium and Aquarium only, so we did ceremony in the Shark Ray Auditorium. Everybody got to roam the aquarium during cocktail hour and then they transformed the room into a reception hall. So we did the reception in the Shark Ray Auditorium as well. So all of that was all downstairs. We are utilizing the outside terrace overlooking the river in downtown Cincinnati, Ohio. We are also using the ballroom upstairs and then heading downstairs, they're gonna get to roam the aquarium for the entire dancing portion too. I hope that doesn't hurt me. I don't think it will. They're gonna have so many people there. It's gonna be crazy. I'm very excited about it. So we're doing two Colin Ray speakers out on the terrace for cocktail hour. We are running them wirelessly from our setup inside of the dinner area. So we're doing the Alto Stealth wireless system. We're running it from the mixer inside the ballroom to the outside terrace. And then we're gonna run those speakers from there. That way everything is going to be the same because people are gonna be allowed inside the ballroom and the dinner area for that as well. So we are setting up our ceremony mixer since we're not doing ceremony today as our sound system inside the ballroom. We're running 215 inside the ballroom and I'm going to try to run into their house system as well that way everybody can hear the toasts and announcements all throughout the room I don't know if that'll happen but I'll let you guys know once we get down there downstairs in the shark ray auditorium is gonna be what you guys normally see the Newmark mixed deck quad pro built into the custom case we're running two 15s and one 18 inch sub down there as well as the dance floor lighting and they also have the marquee letters going down there as well we got a whole bunch of stuff going down I'm actually the office right now a couple hours early getting everything prepared making sure everything is ready because I'm very excited about the wedding, I want it to go perfectly. We got Brad, Zach, and Mason, all three coming down to this wedding. We are not allowed to set up down in the Shark Ray Auditorium until dinner has started. So dinner will already be going on, and that is when we are allowed to go downstairs and start setting up downstairs because the aquarium is actually open until six o'clock. So not until 6.15 or so are they gonna be transforming the room for us to set up for the dance floor. Like I said, the marquee letters are going out with us today. We have the love letters. These are the eliminator lighting decor love letters. Since we've gotten the office, I've actually been running these out a whole lot more. I think we haven't rented out five times in the past we've only rented out twice. And I actually bought them at the DJ Expo two years ago. So that would have been 2017 and I have not had any luck with them. But since we move into the office and we have them set up in the showroom, I've been getting a whole lot more interest. So this is the first one they're going out this year. We just got finished loading everything up. As you can see, we are almost piled to the ceiling now. Oh, got some extra cables. Got our ceremony case, which is gonna be used in the dining room today. We have our 18 inch sub. We have four of the 15s. The subs for the common rays are down there inside the photo booth. The tops are up here with all the other cases. We have four speaker stands, one stand for the gig bar. The gig bar is up there. We have an additional stand up there just in case we need it. Uh, all of the other 15s are up there in the front. Marquee letters are obviously in these boxes that are taking up a humongous amount of space. We got our tables, we got our microphone stand. We have our facade, our homemade facade. 
the road case down there with all that's our utility road case that has all of our cables and everything that we would need on top of it right there is our custom build out mixer case uh, so that's got our Newmark Mix Deck Quad Pro uh, custom built with the you can actually see them right there custom built with the XLR and the IEC inputs right there on the side so I don't have to wire anything it's all pre-wired oh, we've got three stools we were taking out today uh, yeah nothing else back here the up lights gonna go back here along with the dollies and the stools oh the uh, Alto Stealth wireless for the wireless speakers I actually customized this sure case to fit them uh, so that's going with us as well my Fatigue mat is on top of the photo booth along with the big apples to apples card. We're gonna to try to do apples to apples I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, uh, but we are loaded to the top Right, so uh, it's uh, June 8th 2019 uh, Dayton Mobile DJ the A plus squad on our way south to Cincinnati to hit up the aquarium. Does anybody want a grippo? You can't see the camera, the camera can't see you. When I'm working a hard wedding and I'm parched, I drink orange vanilla coke. Cheese nibs, we don't like you. Or we, I mean me. Afraid of the stingray? Nope. Only when they come. How do we get in there? You gotta go on your knees. It is very tough. Right. Go ahead. No, two fingers, Nick. No. That won't two fingers. Two fingers. <laughs> Brad, are you excited? Yeah, uh, the aquarium is a pretty cool view out here. It's a big boat. Everything, and he's excited about the view. So we just got finished getting everything set up and we are back upstairs where dinner is gonna be happening. So we have our small sound system right here. We have a speaker set up all the way over there on the other side of the room. We have a second speaker over here. And then once again, we're running through wireless. Uh, we're running the stealth. I take good pictures, yeah, what can guys, I say? This is good size, you guys, good size. Uh, like I say, we are running the Stealth Wireless, so we can run a speaker outside on the patio for cocktail hour. We are waiting to see if the rain clears up, because it was sprinkling, uh, but it does look like it's going to clear up. It's beautiful outside. Zach Mason, what do you guys think about this wedding? It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Hasn't started yet. Mason, what do you think about the Stingrays? Extremely awesome. Extremely awesome. All right, guys, so we got dinner done. Everybody is starting to move down and head through the aquarium. Uh, Brad should have got some footage of everything through the aquarium, so you guys are going to look at that. This is our setup that we have inside of the Shark Ray Auditorium. You can see the Shark Ray, the sharks, there's a big giant sea turtle back there. We got our booth, we got our 215s. 18 is underneath the table. We also have six up lights that we ran around the room. And then we have our marquee letters right there for people to take pictures with. Uh, it's pretty exciting, guys. We got the photo booth over there. Not our photo booth. We're using, they're using somebody else's photo booth. Something cool to check out. And everybody is kind of wandering the aquarium right now. Hopefully we can get them all over to dance here in just a few. Man, hang on. I'm going to get a close-up of everything inside this tank. It's freaking awesome. Guys, let's get a bite of the cake here. How is it? Pretty average. I give it a 6.2. 6.2? 6, 6 I would have just rounded it at 6. But. 6. And they did that in the aquarium, and people were like, Let's go to work. Everybody clap your hands.
There's too much stuff going on. Too many places for people to Very be. Busy. I lost everybody. It's about 10.35. We were going to do a send-off and last dance at 10.50. Uh, we moved, bumped it up. We're doing about four minutes. I do got a couple people out here dancing. They're more the they're more just looking at the turtle than anything. So, uh, But we're going to get the sparkly send-off going here in about five minutes. And then we're going to start packing up. We are all about done. This was a good wedding, guys. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. We'll, wear... we'll talk about it more in the truck. Yeah. Stephanie, like we're going in for a group hug, real slow. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, now I need everybody to reach out toward them. Reach out toward them. thoughts Zach what you think it's good Brad yeah it was, it was fun it's a lot a lot of spaces we had to go to Mason it was all right I had fun exploring but then it got boring we're headed back bone drive oh you weren't around uh, we dared Mason to eat four of those caramel things no, stacked he, up. he told me oh, he, and he, <laughs> he looked like he hated his life and I didn't get dinner so I'm freaking starving so we're gonna stop the food. Cool. And the weekend is over, guys. We're back at the shop getting everything put back together. That way we can have some meetings this week. I actually have a consultation tonight. It's Tuesday after the wedding. Uh, so the wedding went great. And we finished off the weekend Sunday with a graduation party and a last minute birthday party at a water park, which was really cool. Uh, Duran helped me out with that and you guys will see all of that in the next gig log. It is Tuesday, like I say, Monday I took off for a family day. We headed out to Indianapolis to the Children's Museum, took the kids out there and just kind of had a family day and took it off. So now we are back at the shop getting everything set up and ready to go. I, I actually have a consultation tonight. It is in the evening after my regular day job. So I just got here. I'm getting everything unloaded from the trailer that is usually set up here in the showroom, which you guys saw at the beginning of the gig log. So I gotta get it all set back up before they get here. The aquarium is awesome. It's a whole lot of work. The load-in process is a little tedious. Uh, we got to go up an elevator and then you saw we had three different setups. So we are upstairs, outside, and downstairs in the aquarium. But it looked awesome, so I don't have a whole lot to complain about. The only problem that I have with the aquarium is that it is over an hour away from the office and I try to stay in the Dayton area as much as possible and this was way down in Kentucky. Uh, but very cool venue, don't mind going down there. And the event overall went good. I did call it earlier in the gig log, let's cut back to the clip. We're gonna get to roam the aquarium for the entire dancing portion too. I hope that doesn't hurt me. There was too much to do. Everybody was spread out all over the place. The party was not all in one spot and it killed the party. Luckily, they did move the photo booth downstairs and the photo booth was close to the dance floor along with the bar, but the aquarium just had everybody spread out all over the place. There was too many rooms, too many places for people to go. And it just, the party fizzled because of that. But we did end on a high note. We got everybody out for Sweet Caroline, which you should have saw there at the end of the gig log. Got everybody out on the circle for a Sweet Caroline and sent them out for a sparkler send off. We were about 10 minutes early uh, because they didn't want to lose too many people. It seemed like they were losing a whole lot of people that last 20 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed this gig log. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. I'd appreciate this very much. You can also leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of the aquarium. Have you been to an aquarium? Have you been to a zoo or anything like that? Uh, Cincinnati Zoo down in Cincinnati is uh, another venue that we've been to. Really, really, really hard load in, but a really awesome venue. Uh, but if you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave it down in the comment section as well. If you guys would like to see any of the equipment that was used in today's video, you can head down to the description. I got everything listed down there along with purchase links for everything. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would love for you guys to keep up with how the business is growing and click that bell. That way you guys get a notification every time I upload a new video. Got another one coming up. Like I say, we had a graduation party and a birthday party and I took a gig log of all of it. We're squishing it down into one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you on the next one.